that I see more than what the people see. No, no. People are facing every single day brutal attacks from settlers and Israelis in so many levels, in all the ways, in roads, in lands, in houses. They raid houses, they kill people, they shot people. of a concentration camp. Imagine that we're getting ready to see the patients, the injured, and you know, like they're marking the thing. And one of these people is your father, or your daughter, or your husband. According to the UN, Israel has bombed over 21 hospitals and 34 healthcare facilities in three weeks. They need to stop this genocide once and for all. Otherwise, it's going to come to everyone in Palestine. Ambulances are targeted on their way to collect new victims of this endless campaign. There is nowhere to hide and certainly nowhere to heal. Hospitals are out of fuel, and the Israeli government refuses to let fuel in. This is for one reason and one reason only. They are trying to cripple Gaza's health care system. No fuel means premature babies in incubators will die. No fuel means dialysis patients can't get the treatment they need. Our brothers and sisters in Palestine are the compass for what medicine in service of each other can be.